Hello folks, Matt with Eddie's Guitars coming to you as always from St. Louis, Missouri. We're going to do something just a little bit different today. We're going to do just a little unboxing on a couple of guitars that I have really been excited about receiving. Boy, that's a nice knife. <clears throat> this, uh, this pair of guitars comes from my very good friends at Ryan Guitars out in California. Like I said, we, uh, we don't do this real often. You might remember if you are avid watchers of our channel, we did something similar to this on the Ryan guitar that they were kind enough to build for me. So I thought this would be uh, just fun to do again. I, I had a good time with the first one, so what the heck. Oh yes. Oh yes. This is a real unboxing, folks. We have not seen these guitars in the flesh yet, so these are as new to us as they will be new to you. And we have uh, got an awfully good start with the Colton case that we ordered for this first one here. See that white Colton with that splatter paint job on there? Pretty darn sharp. Got the, the teal, the pink, the black splatters on there. That is a guitar case. Awesome. And here we go, folks. We're going to dig right in here. This is the first of two Eddie's Guitars, 50th anniversary guitars that the folks at Ryan Guitars were kind enough to build for this very special occasion. Let's take a look at the first. Oh yes. Yes indeed. Folks, this is a Nightingale Grand Soloist. Kind of the medium full-size guitar from Ryan. This is indeed a signature grade guitar, so if it can be done from Ryan, it's probably been done in this guitar. In fact, Amilcar there at Ryan Guitars very aptly said he thinks both of these guitars that we ordered for our 50th anniversary pretty much represents almost the full extent of what they are able to do. And what you're seeing there, Hondro is showing you an amazing old, old figured Engelman spruce top. And they do not have much of these, uh, excuse me, they don't have many of these tops on hand there. It's very special stuff. And they tend to only build ridiculously high-end guitars with this soundboard material, this old Engelman. They actually call it on the invoice, they call it old, not old, I'm sorry, old growth uh, dragonfly Engelman spruce, which is uh, just kind of a fancy name, but... I think it, it, it suits it well. Beautiful color, beautiful figure, just incredible stuff there. Let's take a look at the back here. This guitar has, wow, oh. <laughs> um, uh, perhaps the most impressive set of Brazilian rows I've ever seen, jeez. I, uh, I have seen photos of this wood, but bear in mind, folks, I've seen photos of this wood in its raw form, unsanded, unfinished, unpolished. And I got to tell you, the, um, the, the level of impressiveness that this wood had in unfinished form was high, but seeing it now fully polished in guitar shape, boy, oh boy, look at, look at how consistent the flaming pattern is all the way down. Man, you just don't see wood like this anymore. It's uh, it almost looks like like golden hair. Wow, look at the dimension and figure in that side. That is unreal. And again, the signature grade guitars are going to have that that beautiful blue power shell around the top, around the sides, around the back there. We've got a couple little nice touches of detail. We're going to go back to the front here, Hondro. Um, 
both, I, I should mention now, before we get into the second guitar, both of these guitars were kind of inspired, honestly, by the guitar that they made for me earlier this year. Oh my goodness. And with that inspiration, we, um, we chose the same fingerboard inlay treatment and the same rosette that, that my own um, Paradiso, Ryan Paradiso has. And you can see that that's the Arts and Crafts rose inlay on the fingerboard. Just a gorgeous and uh, Ryan original inlay pattern there. And then down on the rosette, you can see a lot of those shapes and kind of theme um, mirrored there on the rosette there, just perfectly coordinating in with the uh, fingerboard inlay. And as I said, there's just some small little details. You can see those kind of squares, those rounded off squares around the, uh, the fingerboard and the rosette. Like I said, we've, we've got those mirrored on the, uh, the back of the heel cap here, which is a very nice little touch. Just, an, just a nice detail, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, yes, we also have it down there on the tail wedge. Forgive any fingerprints, folks. Like I said, this is a candid unboxing, so bear with us. But I'm going to sit down in this chair behind me for just a second and just, just listen to this because like I said, this is... Wow! the guitar wow you can see that that purfling that beautiful colorful blue power purfling shell goes all the way up the fingerboard around the perimeter of the headstock holy cow we didn't even see the back of the headstock Andre look at this Ooh, <laughs> little surprises everywhere that is something else my and this actually kind of mimics what's happening on the 12th fret of the fingerboard. Um, that's kind of like a rising sun. And you can see on the face of the fingerboard that rising sun sort of gives life to the, uh, the vines and the, the roses going up the fingerboard. Just again, just such a cool, unique theme that you will not find on something other than a specific Ryan guitar. Beautiful details around the ebony bridge there, purfling around the bridge with, again, those little arts and crafts uh, nods there in the corners. Just That is so... I'm shaking here. This thing is really... <laughs> this thing is unbelievable. So this, again, is the Nightingale Grand Soloist. It's got that, that Florentine cutaway there, sharp cutaway, beautiful inlay work, and, and you know, it's, it's, it's not too much, I don't think. I, I think that's a, a nice amount of inlay for such a special guitar. And one thing that I want to point out to you folks, again, these are 50th anniversary, Eddie's guitars, 50th anniversary guitars. Um, there is no physical reference to that on these guitars anywhere that, that you can see. Um, and that was very important to us for a few reasons. But most importantly, myself personally, I, I don't tend to get overly drawn to guitars that have a big, you know, commemorative this or that, you know, on the 12th fret or on the headstock or frankly even on the sound hole label. If I can avoid a lot of that decoration um, for that sake, I like to. And, you know, we know that these are Eddie's guitars, 50th anniversary guitars, but if if a guitar player just came up and picked the thing up and started playing it, they might not necessarily know that. That's kind of how we want to keep it. Just keep them clean. We know what they are. That's the important part. Got another good case here, folks. 
I am every bit as excited about this guitar as I was the first there. I might just actually steal this case, because <laughs> this will fit my guitar. That is a guitar case. So we've got the black Calton here with pink, purple, and white splatter. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Let's see, this case is ever so slightly smaller on the outer shell there. That would imply that this is indeed the Paradiso model, which is the grand concert from Ryan. A little bit smaller than the Nightingale that we just looked at. You can see the face of the guitar is dramatically different. This is a set of the, uh, boy, boy, that is a gorgeous set of the, um, the Moon Glow Submersion, or otherwise known as Sinker Redwood. Uh, but this Moon Glow Redwood is very old Sinker Redwood that Kevin's had for quite some time now. And you can see it's almost got a natural, I don't want to call it a sunburst, but almost a dark vignette kind of on the outer edges of the guitar. There's no color, there's no stain, there's no pigment added to this to add, you know, this to, to achieve this effect. This is all natural in that piece of wood. I um, became frankly obsessed with this material again after they built my guitar for me and, and this Redwood is just some of the best I have ever played. Again, this is the Paradiso Grand Concert. A little bit different context of tone woods in this guitar, but again, every bit as impressive as the first. Boy, that thing is light. That is extremely light, wow. Again, you can see the, the kind of matching theme on the fingerboard there, the Arts and Crafts Rose, along with the Arts and Crafts Rose Rosette. Again, similar idea on the bridge there with the inlays and purfling. We're going to flip right over to the back here, Hondro. Oh. <laughs> A downright filthy set of the tree mahogany. If you're not familiar with the tree, by God you are now. My goodness, that is by definition the tortoise shell, the tree. Just such incredibly defined figuring and quilting, almost almost veiny looking. How deep and uh figured that is, how, how much movement and dimension that stuff has. I know we're getting reflections in here, folks. I apologize, but you get the gist there. Again, we've got signature grade, again, inlay around the back, the side panels, of course, the top. Again, up the, uh, the edge of the fingerboard, up the face of the fingerboard, next to the arts and crafts row. So lots of beautiful and colorful inlay. Man, I'll tell you, just the way the colors turned out on this one are... That is good, good stuff, my. And we better hear just a chord or two on it. dramatic folks but I, I can tell you already I think these are two of the nicest not Ryan guitars I think these are two of the nicest guitars I've ever played Wow! there's just so much rolling out of that I also want to make perfectly clear, you're not seeing any of our usual microphones. 
out here on the floor. We're, we're, this is this is audio right off the camera, so we uh, it is what it is. But I think you, again, you get the point. I hope. It feels like downright supple. Folks, um, I, I might need to go sit down. You are sitting down. A, away from a guitar like this and, and get my bearings back. suckers have sustain. Holy freaking cow. Gotta see the back of the headstock on this one too, Andro. Got that same matching uh, inlay on the rear side of the headstock of this guitar as well. As, as far as the um, ornamentation on the two guitars, they're pretty much the same in terms of inlay and everything. They both have the ebony fingerboards, ebony headstocks, ebony bridges, ebony binding theme on, all, on both of these guitars. Um, man, oh man. This is uh, this dark wood that you see that's sort of inset along with these inlays is Brazilian rosewood. As well as uh, on the uh, Nightingale that we played a few minutes ago. But like I said folks, we wanted to do just a little bit of a candid unboxing here. These are... The two Eddie's Guitars 50th Anniversary Guitars that we just received from Kevin Ryan. I'm, I'm shocked and I, I say speechless, but here I am rambling on. I just don't know what to actually say. These things are absolutely magnificent. I will uh, <clears throat> look forward to having the guys photograph these in all of their glory and, uh, and get them put up on the website right away so they can kind of be seen. But... Uh, man, I am blown away. Thank you very, very much to, to the folks at, at Ryan Guitars. Man, these are just beyond what I ever could have imagined or hoped for in such a special commemorative instrument. Uh, we will we will plan to either do a live stream on these guitars or their own um, respective demos, uh, regardless of, of being live or not. But either way, we've got to get these things in front of some some real microphones and get them heard. I, the, the dimension that is quite literally bouncing out of both of these guitars is uh, is very unique, <laughs> and, and we we deal in a lot of very nice guitars. So when you hear something extra. Uh, it, it jumps out and hits you right away, and, and that's absolutely what I'm getting here. So, folks, I'm excited. Um, I don't know if you can tell that or not, but I look forward, like I said, to getting these things photographed, getting them up on the site, maybe uh, maybe taking one home this weekend if I can convince Ed into letting me doing that, but, you know, I'm, I won't count on that. So, <laughs> Thank you for joining us, folks. Uh, this has been... A absolutely delightful afternoon and I can't wait to share these with you take care